yeah, I just wanted to share some things that I got at the Ren Fest this year. I got some jewelry. This I thought was super neat. Very different. Kind of. gonna be kind of tricky to catch but it was just a really unique design and it's so lightweight I have the thickest wrists and the thickest ankles almost nothing fits me I have thick neck I have the thick joints and it fits just fine and it's not super tight like full rotation yeah oh I broke a nail look at that Ooh, let's not look at that. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this hand to show it off then. Um, who, who the fucking cares? Um, look at our... These cute... Here, this is what we're going to do. These really cute... It's that time of day. I think I need a nap. I got brain fog, serious brain fog, fog right now, so um, I thought they were so cute. Of course I had to drop by the Alchemist. I go there every time I have gone. Um, I used to work there in high school and I was always hanging around the Alchemist whenever I did get a break. Which is, you did not get very many breaks. Um, and the Dragon's Blood oil it just says dragon's blood it's not and it's not that like um ornate of a design but the smell is like the actual dragon's blood incense you would burn like on an incense stick um those what are they called is it wild berry is it it's, it's the, um, the really fancy ones at like smoke shops. And then I got a rose, which I think this is just, it's just a fragrance oil. It was $16. It's not like an absolute oil or, um, a essential oil, oil or anything like that. Um, be way more expensive, but, um, she is sourced out in Taylor Falls, Minnesota. A lot of the vendors that we're selling were still from Minnesota, and some, of course, just travel. Oh, hi, Lucky. We have a visitor. Can we turn and see? Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> what? Do you not want those up there? Well, while he's busy with those, I, well, let's just turn it a little bit because, there we go. I put money down on a gorgeous walking stick. Look at that. It's made of dogwood. How beautiful, right? It's, um, there were some really beautiful corkscrew type walking sticks, but my issue with that is, even though they were beautiful and like a piece of art, basically, I worry because I want to still use it, and if there's a weak spot in the walking stick, I don't want it to break. That would make me very sad. Um, so I didn't want there to be, like, uneven distribution of wood so that it can take force kind of like in an even way and then break so this one was sturdy it was gorgeous dark wood um this feather i just found um 
on the ground at Renfest. I no one else had feathers around them. I didn't know who it was, so I just popped it in there. Um, but I'm excited to use that for some hiking in fall. I'm gonna see. I might want to put a stopper at the bottom just because I don't want it to get ruined. But it's sturdy. Dogwood is sturdy. So I'm excited for that. What do you think? Aki. Aki. Hi. Hi. You like the smell? Are you happy you got my chair back? You always steal my chair. I need that for work. <laughs> Lucky. Look at you. You can use your hands, son. Use your hands, son. Look at you. I love you. So, I just wanted to share. <laughs>